book 199. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about Emperor Nero and the burning of Rome. That's right, Emperor Nero and the burning of Rome. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, in a city once known as Rome, an emperor reigned who history has labeled as crazy, mad, and ruthless. This emperor, who ruled the entirety of the vast Roman Empire, was a man named Nero. During his reign, a great fire ravaged the city of Rome, and nearly two-thirds of the city was destroyed. There are many accounts of this fire, and several of them have blamed Nero himself of starting it. But history records that Nero placed the blame squarely on the Christians. Indeed, my ancestors lived in Rome at the time of this fire, and they have passed down to me the true history of events without distortions and politically charged lies. Leading up to this great blaze, a group, who was then called Christians, had begun to grow in numbers in various cities within the empire. Indeed, this cult had even made its way into the heart of Rome herself. The Christians were not like the other religions of Rome though. They were born out of the Jewish sect, which denounced all other gods as a major tenet of their religion. And so, like their religious parents, the Christians denounced all other gods except the Jewish God and a man named Jesus, who they claimed was a God-man like the hero Heracles of old. A supposed convert to Christianity, one Saul of Tarsus went around traveling from city to city teaching the people that Jesus, who was resurrected from the dead, was returning soon to conquer Rome and bring an end to the reign of the empire. Many people believed the words of this Saul, who became Paul, and whispers spread of the end which was fast approaching. The stories Paul told were mere fantasy, however, and those who walked with the man Jesus knew this. So, the disciples of Jesus began to travel to the places which Paul visited, and they worked to correct his lies. They even sought to send out many epistles, which contradicted much of the teachings that the epistles of Paul taught, and a great schism was started within the early church. Fearing that his lies would be totally exposed and his mission to mislead the church would be derailed, Paul and those loyal to him convened. They decided in a secret meeting to destroy the authentic epistles of the disciples in order to keep the people blind. One night, they set fire to a series of merchant shops, which were in reality where the scribes were writing the authentic epistles, and they sought to burn them all and destroy them. They then went around to the houses where Christians gathered, who believed what the disciples taught, and they set their homes on fire as well. This fire, which they started, grew out of control, and it burned for a total of nine days, during which all of the truthful epistles were lost, and Nero accurately determined that the fire was caused by Christians. He then caused a great persecution to be brought down on the court, and only the followers of Paul survived. And until this very day, only a handful of people know exactly what started the massive fire which burned Rome. And so, the morning motivation of today is Emperor Nero and the burning of Rome. The one thing we have undoubtedly learned from history is that wicked men and women will always try to alter and hide the truth. Likewise, wicked men and women will always try to alter and hide the good within you. When you are close to making a breakthrough in life, you should expect the enemy to try and attack you. And as you expect this, you should prepare to defend yourself. Do not let the unrighteous of this world win. Do not let them set fire to your ambitions and your dreams. Do not allow them to destroy your virtuous potential and do not allow them to kill off your purpose for being born. There are great things you are meant to accomplish and the entire world depends on you to get those things done. Stay the course and do not be dismayed and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.